Hello and welcome to Blue Brick for a different. Today I'll be reviewing the LEGO Creator Expert Modular, the Boutique Hotel. This is geared for ages 18 and up, has 3,066 pieces, and retails for $200 in the US. Um, so it comes with the modular building. Now this is a corner building, uh, so you can just put it in a street or a city or whatever. Um, and act as a corner building, so you're going to be able to have connected a modular here and then also a modular there. Uh, now this is the 2022 modular, so this came after the police station, and this is the 15th modular ever. So there's a few references inside um, of different modulars uh, from the past years. And there are some minifigures here, and we'll take a look at those after I show you the set. So basically, uh, you can have it at a corner angle like this if you're just displaying it by itself, or if you have it in a street or city, or, um, you're just gonna have it like that, or that. And on the outside, you can see there's two things. The main attraction, which is the boutique hotel, which is at this nice, um, like, weird angle slant, which I really like. And then El Cuba, which is like a fine art gallery, um, with a little, a place to uh, have like beer, wine, or whatever um, from the hotel with the stairs here. And then in the back, there is a dumpster. Uh, inside, there's a white croissant, uh, probably a reference to the Parisian restaurant. And uh, there's the windows here too from the outside. And the wall has a few different colors but not that many really the only one that stands out for me is uh this and then that streak but other than that this this side looks very good uh and this side only has like one so that also looks very good so i appreciate that and there are a few uh like flower bushes or whatever and the classic lamp post there's also a little fire hydrant here and some uh, jumper studs to place your minifigures, and also there's one in the place to go to the hotel. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's start off with uh, the first floor. So we can just take off these two layers. They're uh, only connected to jumper studs. Uh, and we can take a look at the inside. So inside the hotel, we have the stairway uh, leading up to the second floor, a clock on the wall there. Over here is a couch uh, that the minifigures could always sit on. And then a nice tiled uh, floor with a few jumper sets for the uh, minifigures to stand on. And I like this tiled pattern uh, in front of the couch. Over here, there's a, like a flower vase or something and a wall of four keys when there's only three rooms in here but i guess four looks better than three over here there's a like a just a small painting on the wall uh it could have been from uh the uh el cubo and then the desk with a jumper set behind it for a minifigure to go on uh also with one of the uh phones on it so it's pretty much the first floor of the hotel. Now, uh, right over here, there's a little space under the stairs where I think they should have put a bathroom because there's only one bathroom in the whole set and it's in a room, uh, like the most expensive room here. So there's really nowhere for the other guests to go to the bathroom, uh, which is weird. But then also in the front, it says H for hotel and some nice, uh, decoration and of course the door opens uh, as expected so here is a uh, El Cubo and then on top we can first take a look on the uh, top of El Cubo there is uh, like a fake palm tree here some leaves uh, cups and then like a, a bottle of wine and I think these are tables, but there's no chairs, it looks like. And then there's a jumper stud here for someone to be standing on. And then also on here it says, El Cubo Fine Art. Inside, there's just some paintings. There's a little desk for you to sit at. Um, and like an abstract painter or whatever. And then also, whoops, 
in the middle, uh, there's this stand with the old Creator Expert logo uh, here, uh, which they just built using transparent studs, and then, uh, yeah. There's also a painting on the wall there, and another painting uh, that you can see from the outside there. And the fire hydrant, and then the door also opens, and there's, I think, a water fountain here, um, or just, like, another painting, something there, upstairs. So that's, uh, the first floor, and let's take a look at the second. So here's the second one. This is uh, compressed of two rooms, uh, small rooms, but right here there's the hole that you can get up from the stairs and that of course aligns there. Then two doors, one for this room and then one for this room, both uh, open like that. And let's start with this one. Inside here there's a little closet that has nothing inside and then it looks like a drawer here but that's just for show over here there's a desk with a sand green typewriter which is probably a reference to the lego ideas typewriter here is a bed with a lamp there and then just a chair uh, with this nice window right there and then of course there are flags here and a balcony uh, for this room the door that can open and there's windows pretty much everywhere around and i'm not sure if i mentioned this but the stairs of course uh, this is for the third floor and the other room has another like closet uh with a bunch of drawers a desk and a chair a little rug and then the bed and a lamp and then the door to the balcony and if, then you can have a minifigure stand here uh, but it is a little tight, so you can only have one. So that is pretty much all of the second floor. And this is the third floor. So this is like the master suite, or uh, the best room here. So... Uh, there's also windows around with the sand green and then like this peach color here and then a nugget color there which I like the uh, all the colors together. So in here once you come from the door there's a hole for you to come up and open the door. Inside there's another like wardrobe or closet or not closet wardrobe yeah. And then there's just a little table with some uh, like bottle on it. There's a chair that has studs so you can uh, set a minifigure on it. Here's a huge bed with two lamps by the side, which I actually use upside down cupcake wrappers and a bar of chocolate for the people who bought the room. There is a tiny balcony here, the door is there, and then a TV uh, so you can watch from sitting on the bed and a lamp. And the other door, uh, Sierra can't open fully, which is a little annoying, but you can have the made for your squeeze through. And inside, there's the bathroom with a toilet, some toilet paper, a bathtub, and then a sink and a mirror that does not work. So that is the third floor. And then the roof just has a little architecture of where using actually snake uh, pieces. And here on the balcony, it uses handcuffs. And then there's like skylight uh, roof there. And it's only on like one uh, jumper stud, which is a little annoying, so it's very uh, flimsy. Here, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, personally, I love how the outside looks, but the inside isn't my favorite, especially compared to some of the other modulars I have, uh, but the outside definitely makes up for that. And I did forget to mention right here uh, is a poster with a bunch of references to other things, so you can just pause the video and look at all of them if you want. And there's probably some like sticky notes maybe here. 
uh, just right there. So now let's look at the minifigures. Uh, first, there are the two uh, hotel employees. There's only two. And this one, uh, she just has a smile and then no alternate face. He also just has a smile and no alternate face. Uh, and both of them have the same outfit with the buttons on their skin green shirts. And then white gloves. Here is one of the people staying out here. Uh, you have a camera and a little backpack. Here's a smiling face and a sleepy face on the back. Then there is the person who works for El Cubo Fine Art. Uh, she has like a belt coming up or something and some weird like glasses and no alternate face. Here's a uh, like a businessman coming here probably for business. Uh, he has a suitcase which can open, has little like a uh, keypad or a safe thing. Not sure exactly what that's supposed to be, uh, but that's just there. And he can just hold on to the suitcase and he has uh, just a top hat on him and a blue tie and no alternate face because it would show. And then uh, there's this person who has like a parasol or something and she has a regular face and um, more of uh, a face with sunglasses on the other. And she also has a suitcase, but this one's, I guess you can like roll it or something. Uh, and there's nothing inside. Then the last person uh, is the coffee cart man, and I'll show the coffee cart in a second, but this is definitely a reference to first ever uh, modular, and he has no alternate face, whoops, but his regular face does have some glasses and a smile, and then he has a coffee cart with the same, like, awning as the uh, cap at corner, which is the first modular, and some cups to get your coffee, and this cart can also be stationed out of the hotel, and also the uh, managers at the hotel have a little luggage cart that you can put suitcases in. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe so you don't miss uh, any more reviews like this. And bye!